Driscoll family has a long uh, history with St. Peter's basketball. As stated before, it started with my dad, who graduated in 1949. He played basketball and baseball at, at St. Peter's, and he went away to play minor league baseball, and then became a cop, <laughs> and then a fireman. So uh, I was registered to come to St. Peter's High School. Uh, I was going to follow my father's footsteps. It was an obvious uh, choice. But Warren Fenley, who was the new athletic director and basketball coach at, at Moore Catholic, was uh, he talked to me and said, why don't you think about going to Moore Catholic? It looked like a nice school, and it ended up working out pretty well uh, going to the school. It was a nice school. Okay. The Driscoll family has a long uh, history with St. Peter's basketball. As I stated before, it started with my dad, who graduated in 1949. Uh, I've been the head coach uh, here for 17 years and 29 years as the basketball coach. My brother Dennis, who's two years younger than me, uh, is in his 14th year as our freshman coach. Uh, my son Michael is in his sixth year as an assistant coach, and he was a player for us. He, he played here for four years. Uh, another nephew, Kevin Driscoll, is the assistant freshman coach. He was a four-year player for us as well. Um, nephew, Timmy Driscoll, uh, was a uh, two-year varsity player. He played on two championship teams for us, too. Uh, my brother, Paul, played uh, basketball and baseball here at St. Peter's. Uh, I have also three nephews that were managers, Jake DeForest, Dylan DeForest and Stephen Driscoll were all managers here uh, recently. Uh, and my, uh, my oldest nephew, actually Dennis, uh, he was a uh, freshman in JV basketball player here at St. Peter's too, so there are uh, quite a few Driscolls sprinkled around the uh, St. Peter's basketball history. No. Is a, uh, a jersey, uh, is actually Walt Frazier's number, number 10 for the Knicks, but the Knicks presented that to me at halftime of one of the Knicks games. Um, they presented me as the Staten Island uh, High School Coach of the Year in 2015. I never left the game. I was always playing, but I was always coaching youth teams. My my brother, who's 11 years young, I coached his teams. So um, I used to help Joe McAdams sometimes. Then he asked me to become the freshman coach, and I, I did freshman. I coached freshman one year at Moore Catholic, and then Rich Lagrada, who was another friend of mine, was the varsity coach at St. Peter's. Said he needed the JV coach, and I went over to St. Peter's, uh, and that was back in 1987. I went over to to St. Peter's, and I was the JV coach 12 years. No real plans of being a varsity coach. I enjoyed doing the JV. Uh, I thought I'd do it through. My son was a freshman. I figured I'd do it through. He was a senior, and then let someone else, you know, coach the team. And then Rich resigned, <laughs> and he asked me if I wanted to be a varsity coach. I said, you know what? Let me try it. And that was 17 years ago. So uh, this is my 17th year of uh, of coaching the varsity. But uh, I, I'm I don't regret one day of of taking the job. So it's it's been a pleasure. Wait, wait, wait.